All right, <clears throat> there's a bump in the night. Here we go. All right, today we have the Rapid Safe uh, Shotgun Walker by Hornady. Hornaday, Hornaday. Well, I'll just keep saying whatever. Um, so this is gonna come in on Amazon at least for right now for about $200. Uh, so this is gonna be an RFID type of safe with a backup uh, digital notepad and your barrel key access. Uh, I've already tested the uh, AR gun locker from Hornady and um, the only thing I had a problem with that was uh, was with the uh, wristband, RFID wristband. We'll see if this one has a better, stronger signal than that one did. Uh, well, that's something I'm kind of curious to see what happens with this particular uh, you know, wall mount safe, what do you want to call it. Now with this one, going to do some details, some funny details here, but uh, see here on their ad, it shows a very interesting uh, semi-automatic pump shotguns. Now it shows a picture of there of an AK. Um, we'll test that too. Uh, I So let's go over some fine details here. Uh, it says a fast and dependable touch-free entry, RFID card. Uh, it's gonna have like a key fob, uh, one you can stick on your wallet, and the one for your wristband, like I told you earlier. Uh, convenient keep access, uh, exceeds safety standards. Heavy duty, tamper-proof construction. So this is gonna be a 14 gauge still with two internal hardened locking lugs. Well, I'll test those locking lugs to see just how hard they are. Uh, safe and ready, AC and power. Okay, this has got the AC or battery power, so you can do either either. Easy to install, pre-drilled mounting holes, so. All right, let's get to it. Just quit wasting time here. Ah, looks like it got some egg crates going on here. Almost thought about to get a dozen eggs. So, here's the safe. Nice little unit, it's got a little bit of heft to it so far. So far, I like it. Feels pretty good. Feels like some nice quality. I think this goes on to the end of the wall. So the shotgun the guns over here, as you can see with that, you'd be able to stick in there. I won't be able to use demonstrate this. I'll be using a like a little piece of wood, but uh, just want to show you that that does exist. Here it comes with your owner's manual, your barrel keys here. What else it come with here? Comes with your uh, just some brochure. What's this? What's this? It's a mounting template. Okay, cool. Comes with a mounting template. Place on the wall. Uh, okay, cool bands. So, not much in here. I mean, is there any stickers? Go in and get some warnings here. Uh, it's like, I don't know what that's for. There's your warranty card. I believe it's a one year warranty on these. Uh, so, uh, yeah, everything's good. Like I already said, already tested the rapid air gun locker right there and uh we'll see if the wristband does a little better okay so they also do have one for your ars or whatnot so it has a bigger pod thing there uh so they do have that as well i guess i wonder if that fit, should fit in ak i suppose not sure uh like to know like to know guess i'll have to buy that one day too so uh let's get to uh mounting this i should have to reprogram this and we'll get to testing the RFID cards to see where are those cards are. Where are they? Are they inside? Okay, they're gonna be inside here, I think. So let's open it up. Oh wow, that has a nice. Let's take the key out. Has a nice spring to it. <laughs> Very nice spring to it. Uh, okay. Maybe, uh... <laughs> all right, all right. So here's your wristband. So hopefully today this will be. A little stronger than the last one, but I do want to test that. Actually, I'm very curious about that. Uh, where's the latches on this thing? Actually, there's the uh, RFID for your keychain. That's one heck of a spring it's got there. Okay, the latches are down in there, huh? I don't know if I better test those. Those are those are too damn far in there, boys. I can't get to them. So, hey, uh, the the other the other safe I test, they were you know around 40 to 50 HRC. So. Uh, they were hardened, so I do trust Hornaday's uh, hardening process. I want to demonstrate all four ways of entry. Also, this is going to be your battery indicator right here. So green is good, yellow is getting worse, and red, you're dead. Uh, Alright, so here is your barrel keys. Uh, you simply, there's the access point right there. Smooth, easy action. Uh, next up, it's going to be the number pad. So let's just put that in there. Then press the H. There you go. 
Next up is going to be your RFID readers. Now you have one for your keychain. These two here are going to be able to stick with this 3M tape uh, onto your cell phone. They say to watch out for interference in some cell phones, so watch where you stick it. Now, uh, the only thing with this wristband on the screen, I show you how they demonstrate it working. They show it on the wrist and able to, as you'll see, it's not really functioning like that because the chip is actually in this part of the wristband. So if you actually want to use this, you'll probably got to wear it on your wrist the other way around. And I'll show you. As you'll see, it's not the strongest there, but it will, and that doesn't change if it's on the actual wall juice either. So it's not, it's not going to get extra power just because you have it on AC juice. So that's all four ways of entry. You're going to need your porthole opened up there uh, because this little part here, the metal part, this piece of plastic is going to go into your porthole part. Uh, so now one reason you definitely going to need this bracket in real life when you, you need it to support the shotgun like that so it doesn't just could possibly fling out when this thing opens it hasn't done it seems to have a pretty good at least with this stevens it's fitting in there pretty well so you'll put that in that little piece of plastic boom and stay in place pretty well uh, i don't know how much i trust it but let's go ahead and lock this 14 gauge diaper down and as you can see very nice fitment. Uh, fits this Stevens very well. Uh, good fitment. I like it. Uh, so let's open this back up. Now I'm going to definitely put my hand on there to make sure the shotgun stays in place. There you go. Perfect. As you see, it's still there. Comes right out and it's ready for use. Now uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to reprogram the RFID cards, show you how to do that process. Now there's also a difference between when you're on cord power and you're on battery power. And I'll show you that here in a second. Let's reprogram one of the RFID devices. And I've already repro I've already programmed this thing here. Now remember when you program that, that's where the chip is at. So make sure you put that at this area or it won't program it because this doesn't really reach out too far with being nice under rubber and whatnot. So let's go do uh, this little keychain device here. As you can see, nothing's happening. Now you can reprogram uh, up to five devices total, so that would be max. So let's go ahead and do this one. As you'll see, I have, let's press down the button for a little bit. I've programmed two devices, so this will be the third. Simply just place it up there, and that's that easy. Let's go ahead and officially do it. And it is that easy to reprogram these. So let's reprogram the number pad. They say to enter with either the RFID card or the barrel key. Uh, so let's go ahead and press a button, then hit that to avoid the uppercut. Now what you're gonna do here is press this button here, then it's gonna light up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four, three, two, one, then press the H. There you go. Let's go ahead and try that out. Four, three, two, one. And it's a pretty simple process. All right, if you're planning on using wall juice, you're gonna have to make sure you wor worm this uh, cord through first, because it goes through the back here. So then you're gonna want to then put it in place like that. So just remember to do that beforehand. Now, when it comes to the battery situation, the batteries go right here. You're gonna need four AA batteries to power it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the, the difference between uh, batteries and the cord, and there is a difference, so let's get to that. All right, let's just go with the function. When this comes to wristband, it's, um, if you see, they show it functioning. One adds like this, showing it like that. It don't work like that. Now they do show it in another, they show it where some guys say his arms are outreach like this. They say if it was next on a wall, you could reach like that. And uh, well, that's underneath, and that's where the actual RFID chip is at under this right there so if you do use it like that there you go uh so just want to cover that real quick it's no real big deal just where it, the other way around if you want to actually use it functionally all right so when it comes to the actual rfid scanner um all right the rfid part you have to press the button once and then hit it like that so when you go to cord power uh let me go swap that on real quick all right now we got the cord so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's go manual style. So when you're on actual cord juice, now the benefit here is, this is not the correct way of doing any of this. I mean, I literally have this on a piece of wood. So now you don't have to press the button. You just go straight up there. There you go, you're ready to go. So that's one benefit. Let's do the wristband real quick. There you go. You got to almost be right up on it too with this wristband because I think that rubber kind of interferes with the RFID chip. 
So that's just how the, everything functions real quick, uh, and that's the one benefit of using the core power. Uh, I didn't realize the Hornaday uh, rapid safe, you can store your shotguns vertically too. Uh, my bad. So I want to show you what you can do, though, with a vertical storage situation. Uh, we're going to make a dude Christmas tree. So I want you to find the nastiest, stinkiest old Walmart uh, jacket you got. The nastier, the better. We'll start off with a Tapco mag because no one wants Tapco mags. Uh, now let's just put a little squirrel hand over here and maybe some uh some of these right there uh, let's put a little empty water ball on top there now perfect and uh we'll start over here now if you got a little area you need to cover some extra shotgun we'll have this uh penguin sock right here you just uh there you go so the great thing with this is you can hide it in plain sight Ain't no one gonna know what's what snow what's under that. And uh, simply tie needs be. There you go. All right, so Hornady makes great products. I haven't had any issues with this power diaper here. It's solid, fits the Stevens nicely. I imagine if I had that bracket on there, it just fits so much better. Uh, but I'm just my little demo piece of wood here. So uh, besides the wristband part, uh, you know, there's a workaround with that as well. It's been a good operating safe i definitely trust this for years to come but if you're more into the analog type i have this uh, shot lock you're doing that up next so until next time we'll see you then